Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daily Productions here, and today we're going to be playing a brand new battle simulator game, Total Tank Simulator. I was playing around with it a little bit earlier. It's from a new development team called Noobs from Poland, and it is looking awesome awesome i'm really excited to play it so i thought we'd do the campaign and um make a new game here because i was messing around there um i i want to do the full campaign on the channel so if you guys want to see that be sure to hit the like button and comment down below it lets me know that you'd like to see more of this game uh because I, I'm not sure how well it'll do on the channel as a whole. Either way, let's uh, go in with the U.S. campaign for starters here. Uh, we have to do Act 1, which is Operation Torch, an offensive act in November of 1942. American troops are landing in North Africa. U.S. is an air offensive faction. They are focused on heavy bombardment of the enemy. Airport is cheaper and more efficient and uh they produce stronger bombs as well very nice very nice so let's begin act one here name daily difficulty normal because we are going to be massive massive noobs of this game um and that's a fact and that my lads is a fact okay here we go is that General Patton? Africa on the 8th of oh, hello there. When you're on the desert, What's up, General Patton? Keep on advancing until you get a shot at. All right, Roger that. General Patton. All right, so uh, basically we have different battles here that we have to work our way through. Right now we're ranked second lieutenant, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have a tech tree here. Um. Wow, look at this. We can get snipers. We don't have any juice to to upgrade our troopers or unlock new units or anything like that. Um, but it seems like eventually we will be able to do this, um, which is which is going to be kind of sick to slowly progress and unlock new stuff as the game goes on. Wow, there's a lot of stuff you can unlock. That's kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, oh, and then we have officers here. So this is Luke Thomas. Sorry, Thompson. We have Matthew Morgan, Ethan Johnson, and they all have different abilities, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, I mean, should we recruit him? Damage bonus plus zero, um, but we get RPM bonus. Sure, we'll recruit him. Why not? We need a general, right? Uh, and then should we get one more? Uh, this guy has really large damage bonus and no damage reduction, which is good. So we'll get him as well. Why not? Why not? We'll get ourselves a, a couple of generals there. Okay, so this is the Battle of Safi. Um, death match. One skull. I don't know what that means. Enemies. Um, so they got artillery, tanks, infantry, and... I think those are support units, uh, 8,500 cash limit prizes. We get some research points and we also get some cash. Hola. So let's get into it here, boys. Let's get it. I'll be back once it's loaded. All right, fellas, here we are on the battlefield here. And, uh, so this is our side of the, the map here. These are points of interest. Um, points of interest is a place which units fight for okay um it seems like there's a bunch on the outskirts we have two sort of close to our positions here and then there's a bunch on the interior here so we can start uh deploying units we have uh Stuart tanks which are light tanks we have um artillery m101s then we have greyhound support vehicles um m32 recovery vehicles which uh find and repair damage vehicles okay um and then we also have minefields which is pretty sick um then we also have riflemen which is the weakest infantry unit okay um and we have officers we have those two officers that we had here so um ryan harris was the the good one i think the the boy with all the the 300 plus damage or whatever so why don't we spawn him in here? Bada bing. Oh, hello there, Ryan. Um, and, and you know what? We'll spawn both of them in. Why not? You know? And then I, I'm assuming we need to protect them. So we'll supply them with a with a tad bit of infantry right around there. And they'll 
will be protected by that a little bit around that point of interest. That That's super cheap. That's only 150 bucks we spent right there, which is beautiful. Um, so as we can see, there's a lot of enemy tanks around here. I say we just minefield it up over here, and these mines are extra ordinarily cheap they are very very cheap so why not you know what we'll just mine this whole area oh we can't spawn more units of mines there's a limit okay oh there's a limit to total units too oh okay okay um so we need to clear uh well i guess we just cleared all units guys i am <laughs> really bad at this game Let's uh, spawn our boys back in over here. You mean you can't spawn more units? Yes, I can. Stop that. Um, okay. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll get a few mines. We'll get a few mines. Not too many, because obviously we're going to need uh, more units to be able to be spawned in later, too. But, you know, a pretty good minefield there. Um, then, you know, I do like the idea of having some artillery sort of defending around here, so... Why don't we get artillery, four artillery pieces over there, and then two over here, because um, the enemy units have sort of like two armies. They have their uh, their panzers in the front there, and then some more panzers back here, um, and then they have infantry with artillery back there, and then they have this airport here too. Okay, and then... Um, I say we get Stuarts around these parts as well, um, pretty separated from one another, but not too far apart. Um, and then we'll do the same thing over here, just sort of behind, behind the minefield, and that way the minefield remains a um, a viable position for the Panzers to come forward and and trip up on. You know, you know, dog. And then I'm actually going to copy a page out of the enemy book and use infantry around our artillery pieces, which should be pretty effective. I don't really know. Real question is, do these units all end up just moving forward anyway? You know, is there any point in really doing this, if you know what I mean? All right. Regardless, we have more points to spend. So why don't we get backup units behind and then... Um, Honestly, maybe some Greyhounds would be helpful too, you know? Just like some more support units, I suppose. It seems like we have a lot more points than the enemy do. Oh, actually, apparently we don't. Oh, that's right. We need planes. That's probably what the enemy's got right now. So let's get some planes in here too. Oh, not enough cash. Um, you know what? Five planes seems right. I mean, I don't see any enemy planes, so... Oh, they do have the airport. I don't, I really don't know, guys. You know what? Let's just give this a try. Let's see if this um, ends up really working out here. So there are our, our planes right there. Um, we can actually go into cinematic mode here, which is kind of sick. Um, not sure if there's any way to go in slow motion. I don't think there really is, but we can see um, our, our army sort of moving out here, which is kind of sick, kind of epic. If you were to ask me, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This game is really, really cool. Um, our minefields. Do our own troopers die on minefields? It doesn't look like that, which is great. And we're taking out these panzers. Oh, they definitely do die on our own minefields. That is definitely problematic. Whoa, whoa. Okay, camera controls are a little bit problematic, but that's okay. Lots of tanks going down very, very quickly here. Wowza. Okay. Okay. You know, that's okay. We can actually take control of units here, which is cool. Okay, well, that panzer was insta-wasted, so <laughs> how about this one? We could try and get some kills. Okay, we actually killed that tank, which is kind of sick. Oh, we need to repair. We do need to repair. Oh, my God, there's planes up in the sky. Okay, so they do have uh, planes around here. So we're just doing a quick little repair. Bada bing. All right, keep moving forward here, panzer boys. Um, we can actually move forward in cinematic mode which looks even more epic i gotta say you gotta admit this is kind of sick fellas this is kind of sick here we go crossing over the bunkers here Whew. yeah buddy all right we're gonna need to go into uh first person mode kill some of this infantry that's trying to cross the river oh we got hit 
We got hit, but it seems like we're fine for now. Coming up over these sand dunes. I know there are more blue tanks out here because we saw them moving around. I just don't know where they're at. Makes me a little bit nervous. You know, let's, let's zoom out. We can always do that. Seems like our armies are honestly just kind of pile driving on through right now. Here comes our soldiers. Oh, whoops. That's my bad. Wait. Oh, this is us. Well, I mean, yeah. I wanted to look at the infantry, but that's fine. We'll just position ourselves right there. Ooh, the enemy planes, though. They seem to have wiped out our planes, so... I mean, it does look like we did control the um, sort of bottom of the battlefield here, but they are winning the uh, top of the battlefield, which is kind of problematic. I'm going to get a screenshot here of the infantry, because they look kind of kind of dope. Yeah, buddy. All right, we do still have artillery out here. We never really checked in on how they're doing. How you guys doing? Whew. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. This game's sick, guys. This game is truly, truly sick. Wait, we got more action here. <laughs> oh, we got, like, a blue soldier running up to this bunker trying to get away. He ends up getting diced up there. Brutal. Brutality of war, baby. Brutality of war. I'm gonna get a screenshot. Come on, fellas. You're not giving me conducive screenshots. What are you guys, like, going to fight? I mean... At this point, I don't want to follow units around anymore. All right, unit counters wise, we're doing fine. Yeah, I mean, what do we do now? I mean, if we can't destroy the planes. Oh, it's running out of fuel, actually. <laughs> you can see that right there. So is it about to crash land? It's going down. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so that's victory. That's how you win. Oh, I see. So we used more funds, um, and we also used way more units. Um, we destroyed 205, and they destroyed 131 of us. Okay. Epic, epic, epic. Huh, victory. Okay. So we are actually down funds. We don't recoup our losses, I guess? Oh no, maybe we do. Can't tell. We also got research points, which is kind of nice. So, um, in terms of the tech tree, we can end up um, unlocking some stuff here. Hmm. The Thunderbolt. I like the... I like the planes, man. I like the planes, but I mean, we should probably go for a tank. Oh, the Chaffee is my favorite World War II tank. Oh, we're going for the Chaffee, baby. Woohoo! M24 Chaffee. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, we, we can get this. Um, transport truck. We can get, um, what is this? M4E8, a fire tank? Sure. Yeah, I think we should probably focus on tanks. Obviously, that's the main point of this game is tanks not so much infantry and air base those are just helpers so um, probably a good idea to get some of those um, okay and we still maintain our officers which is excellent oh we can actually upgrade them which is cool um, oh and we can also get them like jeeps and stuff yeah get the boys a jeep yeah get the boys jeeps Heck yeah. All right, we'll stick with our two officers for now. Um, so I think that's just going to be about it for me today, boys. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll do more of this in the future for sure. We've got a lot of missions that we need to get done here, and I'm really excited to do them. We have a little information thing. Oh, that's brilliant victory, major victory, minor victory. Oh, and those are how many missions you have to to get those things. That's cool. That's cool. All right, guys, let me know if you want to see more of this. I'd be down to do more. I'm really enthusiastic about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.